What's the shortest path between two points? It's a straight line. But what's the fastest path between two points? That question, known as the brachistochrome question, the shortest time question, is answered by this curve called the cycloid. The reason the cycloid wins is that we start right off the bat by going as steeply downhill as possible to pick up speed. And so the average speed along this path is faster than along this path, and it more than makes up for the extra distance that you have to travel. You might think that it would be even better to fall straight down and then roll, but it turns out that it's not. The cycloid is the solution to the brachistochrome problem. Let me demonstrate this with a couple of steel balls that I'll release from the same height. They may not appear to be the same height because of the uh, perspective of the camera, but here goes. And the cycloid wins. I can do this with two model cars as well. Let me put the Ferrari on the slow track. And once again, the cycloid wins. I'll switch cars and let's see if it wins once again. And it does. The cycloid is the solution to the brachistochrome problem.